Today, let's chat about thermal paste accessories. These can range from fairly basic to quite uh, unique, let's say. But which accessory is the most useful when building a PC? And which accessories come included in these common thermal paste products? Let's start basic with the thermal paste spatula, also known as the thermal paste spreader or the thermal paste shovel. These are pretty straightforward and can be used to spread out thermal paste across your CPU. Now in practice, I found that the pressure that naturally comes from installing a CPU cooler does a really great job of doing this spreading for you. So instead of completely evening out the thermal paste with the thermal paste spatula, I find myself using the spatulas to instead recenter the mass of thermal paste to the center of the processor. The spatulas are by far the most typical accessory you'll find in your thermal paste. These come included in the Arctic MX4, the Cooler Master Cryo Freeze, as well as the Thermal Paste Grizzly Cryonaut. Now on the other end of the thermal paste accessory spectrum, we have these and they're not what you think they are. <laughs> these are known as thermal paste finger cots and are used for protection but for protecting your finger against thermal paste. As ridiculous as they are, the way they work is you slip it over one of your fingers and then you can do the spreading with your hand. So just like that, you can get truly hands-on with your thermal paste uh, to your heart's desire. Honestly, these are pretty ridiculous, but it is kind of fun to press thermal paste around with your finger. These finger cots are a much less common thermal paste accessory and have only come in a handful of off-brand thermal paste products that I've bought. So alternatively, if you want to experience pushing down on thermal paste with your hands, you can also just wear a, a glove or something. <laughs> All right, up next, Next, we have a slight variation of the spatula in the thermal paste card spreader. It serves the very similar purpose of being able to spread around thermal paste across your CPU, and was actually inspired by PC builders who were so dedicated to an even thermal paste spread that they were using their physical credit cards, which also works just as well as a card spreader. But if you choose to use a credit card, just make sure to wipe it off before returning to your wallet. <laughs> the card spreader is a bit more unique than the spatula in the sense that it only comes in the Corsair XTM50 product in this haul. All right, jumping back over to the ridiculous side of things, this is a thermal paste paintbrush. Again, it serves the purpose of spreading out thermal paste on your CPU, but for the life of me, I can't figure out why this was included in a package of off-brand thermal paste. In practice, I suppose it does do the job of spreading out thermal paste, but it also just gets so messy and can leave behind bristles in thermal paste, which definitely can negatively impact thermal conductivity. Like I said, this was only included in some random off-brand thermal paste package. So yeah, if you happen to find one of these in your thermal paste product, just Use it for dusting or cleaning or something. <laughs> oh, this next one's pretty cool. This is a CPU guard, which can be used to protect thermal paste from getting on your motherboard or in your socket or anywhere else on your PC. As its name suggests, you put it over top of your CPU to guard it and to make sure that thermal paste can only be applied on the square that's exposed. This one's also pretty unique and was only found in the Corsair XTM50 thermal paste product. The concept of this one is pretty cool and can calm your nerves about making a mess or getting thermal paste on other components. That being said, thermal paste in general does not conduct electricity. So you don't have to worry about damaging your motherboard or other components if you do happen to spill a little bit of thermal paste on them. Even still, this one's pretty cool. Speaking of cool accessories, the next one is the thermal paste practice kit made by yours truly. So I'm a bit biased in thinking this one's super useful. The way this one works is it allows you to practice your thermal paste pattern application before applying it onto your CPU. It comes with two parts and you can apply your thermal paste pattern on the bottom card and then press down super hard to see how that pattern will spread. And just like that, you can see if you use too much or too little thermal paste and can make adjustments when you're applying it into your actual build. Super helpful if you're a first time PC builder and are maybe a little bit nervous about applying thermal paste for the first time. If that's you, don't worry, it'll all be okay. And the final thermal paste accessory I'd like to talk about today is the thermal paste holster. This is another one that I personally made because I was sick of just putting thermal paste in a bin or throwing it away after using it. The way it works is the arms on this little smiley face dude here are perfectly distanced to hug your thermal paste too. And on the back side, there's a magnet. So you can actually attach this to your PC case or your fridge or whatever else to display it with pride. And as a hidden feature, there's actually a little notch on top so you can display your thermal thermal paste practice kit as well. Is it completely ridiculous? Yeah, but I still think it's cool to be able to display your thermal paste too because it's one of the few things in your computer that you can't physically see by looking through the glass. So it adds visibility to my favorite part of a computer. The thermal paste practice tool and the display holster come included with every tube of Easter paste if you wanna check it out. At this point, only one question remains. What happens if we take all of these different thermal paste accessories and use them in a single thermal paste application? <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> I'm doing it! I'm doing yeah. it! Yeah! Yeah! 